So sort of my little imaginary worlds within a sort of virtual space as well. For me, it was a real first um, exhibiting in a virtual um, exhibition. So it was uh, interesting to see how to navigate the space um, and how to sort of discover my works. And for me, my works are, are need to be seen up close. So it was interesting to see that I actually could get up close to my work and see the textures and the layers, and that was quite important for me. Also excited at the fact that it has such a global outreach. And to be selected um, was a great honour, and to be in such great company of Maltese artists, contemporary Maltese artists as well. I studied painting in Malta, in Scotland, in Florence as well. And I'm quite invested in the whole process of painting and the practice of painting, you know, the materiality, the slow time of it. Um, but also, um, I use collage a lot in my work, and that's quite central to my work, both as a creative process, compositional tool, um, but also because of the ideas behind collage, the idea of dismantling something, taking it apart, putting it back together again, um, the sort of creative play of creating new worlds, um, within sort of the four walls of the canvas or of the frame. And a lot of my work is about structures and about as well the fragility of structures and the instability of order and how easily things fall apart and collapse. So a lot of my work actually uses architectural motifs um, sort of as metaphors for the idea of, um, in a sense, all human structures. Um, I think my work sort of takes a bit of an allegorical um, vein, quite influenced by the Quattrocento after spending some time in Florence, um, in terms of its aesthetics and the way it sort of positions itself halfway between sort of reality and um, the imaginary. Um, and so I use a lot of architectural motifs, especially um, the, the period where these works were made, I was particularly interested in um, enclosed spaces, so walled cities like Valletta, or gardens, islands like Malta. So the idea of this sort of double-edged sword of a place which is, you know, which can protect but also confine, and the idea of something being both inclusion and exclusive at the same time. So.